guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, um, I haven't uploaded in a week. My hair is in my face. Um, I haven't uploaded in a week. I was super busy last week. I had taken so many jobs. I am so sorry. Anyway, that's for those people who care, which is probably zero. Uh, <laughs> no, I know you guys care. But anyway, I have a story time for you and I was requested this by one of my campers and she knows who she is way back in, I think, July or June. Anyway, if you hear wind, it's outside. It's, it's I think it's Hurricane Matthew, the after effects or whatever. Anyway, um, it's about my crazy roommate in college. If you wanna hear this video, stay tuned. It's about my crazy roommate story. Anyway, we were friends from the beginning. We were friends for like the first week, week and a half of school. We talked on Facebook. Um, I had moved in a few days early to get everything situated on my side. I had brought a fridge, a chair, a butterfly chair, a TV for us to share, and that's it. And I had both of our beds lofted so that we could have more room. Um, this girl comes in, right, first day of orientation. Her dad, actually, no, my, my parents were there because... No. Yeah, they came in, and they were sitting on my chair. They were watching stuff, helping me move in, the rest of my stuff. And then she comes in, and it's like, hey, I am blah, blah, blah. How are you? And we were, like, we were good friends. We were talking about different things and stuff. And then her dad comes in, right? And then my parents had already left at this point. So her dad comes, comes in, and he hands her a $100 bill right in front of me. Like, seriously, like, here's $100, go spend it. Okay. So, like, it was, okay, you know, I don't really care about this, you know, it's, it's like, monetary stuff. Like, I don't, I don't really care. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, this girl, right, this girl, my ex-roommate, uh, let me tell you how long it lasted, like, at least two months with her in my room. So, where was I? Uh, I had brought the TV, a chair, and a fridge. Within the first two weeks, she had already used my fridge for her ice cream when she had a perfectly good fridge. She had said that her ice cream did not fit in her fridge when it was bigger than mine, and it worked better than mine because it was new, because her dad got it for her. And her dad didn't even know her, like, honest. Okay, so I'll get into this later in the story, but he didn't even know her. Anyway. So, that's, that's strike one, using my stuff. Oh, and she didn't tell me that it was in there. So, that's strike one. Strike two was when she put her clothing on my chair. I didn't, I did, I sat on that chair so many times, but... She proceeded to put her stuff on my chair, right? It was my chair. So, like, I, I'm not petty, but, like, my mom, she came in and was like, oh, this is a cute, you know, shirt. And she's like, oh, thanks. Like, being passive-aggressive out. Like, okay, like, what is this doing here? And my mom mouthed to me. She's like, she's using your stuff, Kelly. Like, she's using your stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. And so that goes along with strike one. Um, strike two was when she wanted to do my wash for me and she wanted to bleach everything. Like she wanted to do my whites or my lights or whatever with bleach, like straight up bleach. You don't do that. You do not, maybe a little bit of bleach, but not like, the whole thing with bleach, like even if it's lights, you can't do like a pink shirt, like a light pink shirt with bleach. It'll turn out white and it will ruin the shirt. Like the, like, mm, this girl, she did not know how to live on her own. Um, that is strike two. Strike three is when, you know, things hit the fan. I'm trying to be nice about this girl. Okay. So, I come in, right, I come in from a long day of classes, 
I wanted to do my homework because it was due maybe two days after this happened. So I wanted to do my work and I'm starting to shake like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> I wanted to do my math homework because it was timed and I wanted to get it done. So I was doing my math homework and I was trying to push through, but her friend was sitting on my chair who I didn't know who she was, right? No idea she had done this before. She had come in my room and, well, she had come into our room at the time with people who I did not know at two or three o'clock in the morning, slam the door, open the light, like turn on the lights and talk really loud while I was sleeping. Anyway, I digress. So she, this is not, this is not new to her. She brings in people that I don't know. So like, and plus she is sitting on my chair using my TV when I do not know her. I did not know her at all. So I told her, I was like, hey, can you like at least turn down the volume and like just watch, like I don't, I don't care if you are in the room as long as you turn down the volume. This freaking chick turned it down one notch. One freaking notch. No, I lost it. I was like, you know, can you please leave? Because I had asked you, like, I think I had asked her three times to turn it down and she did not listen to me at all. So I lost it. I was like, girl, can you please leave? Like, you you did not listen to me. I'm trying to do work. I am trying to be a good student and actually do my work on time when you are just watching TV. And my ex-roommate lost it. Like, she's just like, you know, she's she's been nothing but nice to you, blah, 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 blah. She, you know, you, you came in all, like, stressed and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, 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 honey, no. No. And they left. I called up my parents. And I was talking to my dad on the phone while I was doing my math homework. And I was, I think one of her friends came over and heard me talking about what had just happened. And so my roommate came into the room yelling at me, telling me how I could not tell my parents what was going on in college, that I had to man up and deal with it on my own. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, my parents need to be in on every drama thing that happens in my life. Just in case if something happened to me, like they would know what was going on and someone to listen to me when she wasn't clearly there. She was spazzing out and being irrational. And I was thinking, I'm like, how could you, how could you say this when, you know, you didn't know your dad until maybe college, you know? Because he was off, he was like some type of Nigerian person. Like, okay, I'm sorry, but this is not a racist thing. Um, but, you know, he was, they were, they were Nigerian. They came over from the United States when she was in elementary school and whatnot. That has nothing to do with it. That has literally nothing to do with it. But she had not known her dad until college. And she wanted her to be a doctor. Okay. So... She, little girl, we were the same height, right? She had come into my room and yelled at me. And my dad just like, is that her? And I was like, yeah, like really silently so she couldn't hear me. And I was still doing my work quietly, like, li like just listening to her badger on and on about not having my parents know about anything that goes on in college, that how I should be a woman and deal with it on my own. And now this comes into play later on. So <sighs> I'm heated, I'm like shaking and oh my God, anyway. Oh, okay. <sighs> Calm down. <laughs> okay, so I lose it. She leaves. 
I think she leaves. Does she leave? No, she does not leave. She gets in my face, right? This close to my face. And basically yells at me. I hang up the phone, right? And I could have swore, like, we were fighting. Like, we were verbally attacking each other. I forget what was going on because I blacked out and I was shaking and I wasn't happy. Because if you, if someone gets this close to your face, you're going to get really angry. So I thought that she was going to start swinging at me. So I grabbed her and I was like, I shook her a little bit and I was like, you know, whatever. And I got really close to her face and she ran to our RA and she's like, ha ha, I'm going to tell John. Ha 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 ha. And I was like, I, I was in tears because this had never happened to me before i'd never lost it like that before i never lost my cool like that to someone who i had never known i i was shaking i was crying i was a physical mess on the floor crying to my boyfriend at the time crying to my parents at the time saying oh my god i think i'm gonna get kicked out of school and like Oh my God. So I had stayed the night, I think the RA got involved and he said, can you come to me? Like, can you come talk to me? Like what happened? And so the housing coordinator and everybody got involved and like we were talking in the security office area and they were like, because of the physical altercation, you cannot stay on campus anymore. I'm like, okay, like what's going on? Like I was crying. So <laughs> I was like, okay, what's going on? Like I was, I was physically in tears and they knew I was physically in tears, but they didn't, it didn't seem to register. Like they didn't really care. So my, I, I told them my boyfriend was coming to get me and we were going to, I was going to spend the night at his house, which happened. So the next day was a meeting, right? I don't, I don't think this was a good idea. Anyway, a meeting with my roommate and the lady who was the, mediator type person so we had I had freaked out because I was like you know this is not a good like I was thinking in my head I'm like oh my god I'm gonna get kicked off campus holy crap I do not want this to happen <sighs> alright guys I need to calm down for a little bit so I was like holy crap this cannot happen I cannot get kicked off campus you know I am only I'm, I'm legally blind, I can't do this, like I need to finish what I started. So I had fought tooth and nail for what I had to go through. I was also going through a very, very bad stage in my life and, okay. So needless to say, we had, we had a meeting with the I think it was it was Res Life. So like the Res Life director, she had talked to me and was like, "Actually, I want to I want you to be an RA. Um, I will f I will give you something to fill out." Um, and like she she had told me how she smoked weed and how she got caught on campus and how that was a big thing. And she's like, "And look at me now." And I'm like, "Okay, that's cool." But, you know, I'm still going to get kicked off campus, you know. And she had wanted me to move out of my room so that my roommate at the time could have the room and so that we would be split up because there was a, um, uh, I think it was like, I forget what it was called. But, like, something was put on me so that, you know, we could be separated and which happened, but... It happened kind of at a price. So I had to deal with wanting to, or having to move, which never really happened because I had explained to the Res Life director that, you know, the room that she wanted me to move in smelled like fish. And the little girl was not very friendly. She was very like standoffish and isolated. And honestly, I cannot get used to a new side of, of a building. I would always go to my room, my side of the building instead of that side. And we were in the LLC. So our LLC was on one side and there's another LLC on the other. And my LLC stick, stuck to themselves. Like we were 
kind of friends, but like, <laughs> anyway, we all knew each other. Anyway, so needless to say, I did not kick, get kicked off campus. I did not fail out of school. She flunked out of school. She is now an entrepreneur. I'm not bashing on entre entrepreneurs, but this girl wanted to be a doctor. She wanted to be a like surgeon and she flunked out of school. Like she failed, like, oh my God. And she couldn't keep a job according to what my friends had said. Like they had seen her at the mall and like a, a week later they would see her at another store and be like, what are you doing here? Oh, I got fired from that job, but I got hired from here. So, you know, that that's how it works. And like this girl wanted to be a doctor. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry this video is so cool. And also, I did win the room, so it was my room. I had a double, but it was a single, so I won. I won! I won! Party! Anyway, yeah, that, that's what happened. After all of this happened, and I had gotten my room, my, my single that was a actual double, she had, well, she had, le she had left a big mess on the wall. She had previously um, glued newspaper and magazine clippings to the wall with Elmer's glue, because, you know, that that's a thing. Um, she had come in with one of our previous friends from the LLC, and the door was locked. My, my boyfriend at the time was watching hockey, and I was doing work. And when she had come in to clean the wall, with Windex, my boyfriend at the time was just like, are you gonna tell, like, are you gonna tell John, like, nothing to me, like, quietly, and I was like, yeah, once they leave. So, like, my RA, um, are you gonna, are you gonna tell your RA, and I said yes, after you leave, after they leave. So, um, yeah, that happened. So, I had gone to my RA, after they had left and told them that, or tell, told him that she got into my room when it was locked and she, and turns out she did still have a key to my room. I don't know why she still had a key. I think that she was like planning to do something to me while I was sleeping or whatever. Anyway, she got in trouble. The RA told her that she should have turned that into res life. Um, and she, I went by the hallway that she was staying in. We were in pods. So her pod was right here on this side. My pod was way back here. So we did live separately, but we lived in the, in the same hallway. And I had went by with my nose in the air because I heard her crying on the phone with her dad. I was like, haha, that's what you get. That's what you get for breaking the rules because she had, she was already notified that she could, you know, she had to turn in the key to Res Life. And she did not do that, obviously. Crazy long. I love you guys. Stay beautiful and positive. I'm just something magical. Okay, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry I took like a week off. I don't know why I took a week off. I just couldn't think of anything. But yes, this was like two story times in one. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.